A boy rescues a dog in the river but ends up deeply regretting it. James was on his way home from school, enjoying the picturesque scenery around him, when he heard a distressing sound coming from the river. Concerned, he investigated and discovered a dog entangled in the branches, struggling to free itself. Without hesitation, James leapt into action and bravely rescued the dog from its predicament. However, upon closer inspection, James noticed unusual stains on the dog's belly, indicating something was seriously wrong. Determined to help, he brought the dog to his home, hoping to clean it and alleviate its suffering. Unfortunately, his attempts to remove the stains were unsuccessful. Worried about the dog's well-being, James's parents decided to take it to the vet. To everyone's surprise, the vet realized that this dog was unlike any other he had encountered before. Perplexed by the dog's condition, he conducted thorough examinations but couldn't determine the cause of its distress. Perceiving the severity of the situation, the vet made an alarming discovery, prompting him to contact the authorities. Confused and filled with questions, James couldn't comprehend why the vet had involved the police. He wondered if he could somehow be implicated in whatever was happening. Anxiously, James pondered the enigma that had unfolded before him. James and his parents were perplexed as to why the dog couldn't come home, but they reluctantly accepted the veterinarian's request. A few days later, Rick received an urgent call from the vet, demanding his immediate presence as the test results were in. Upon arriving at the veterinary clinic, James and his parents immediately sensed that something was amiss. They observed people in closed white suits and noticed the vet appearing grave. He uttered the words, we have a serious problem. The vet proceeded to ask James and his parents a series of peculiar questions, focusing more on where they found the dog rather than the test results. The vet concluded the interrogation by threatening to involve the police if James didn't cooperate. Although James was telling the truth, the vet proceeded to call the police. When the police arrived, James was taken to the police station for further questioning, leaving him terrified and bewildered about the situation unfolding before him. His parents pleaded and wept, desperately urging the police officers not to take him away. They couldn't fathom what James had done wrong. He was just a ten-year-old boy who had found a dog and tried to help it. Arresting him for performing a compassionate act seemed unjust. Unfortunately, their pleas and tears fell on deaf ears, and James was arrested and placed in the police car. He bombarded the police officers with questions, desperately seeking answers as to why he was being apprehended, but received no response. Upon arriving at the police station, James was treated like an offender. The officers were rude and forcefully ushered him into an interrogation room. No questions were asked, and the hostile gazes of the people around him intensified his anxiety. Eventually, an officer entered the room and began questioning James. The inquiries mostly revolved around where he had found the dog and his connection to it. James reiterated countless times that he had discovered the dog on his way home from school and had no prior knowledge of it. The police interrogation grew increasingly aggressive, but one of the officers noticed the profound fear in James. They decided to disclose the truth to him, as they no longer considered him a suspect. When James heard the reason behind the dog's critical condition, he was left in shock. Over the past few months, the police had discovered numerous dogs in the same dire state as James's dog. These dogs had been administered substances meant to enhance their fighting capabilities, but instead, the substances made them sick, often resulting in their demise. To unravel the mystery of who was dosing these dogs, the police initiated an investigation. After months of searching, they finally obtained their first lead. For months, the police had been pursuing the unlawful organization responsible for the torment and demise of these unfortunate dogs. Their focus had shifted toward a suspect named Cray Johnson. Recent operations had pointed them in Cray Johnson's direction, but this time, they had substantial evidence to take action. Cray Johnson, also known as Crazy Johnson, was the leader of the unlawful organization. He was a notorious figure in the illicit, 
having been arrested multiple times for various felonies. The harrowing tale of Crazy Johnson deeply shocked James. James formulated a plan that surprised the officers, as it wasn't as drastic as they had expected. They decided to pursue his idea. The police opted to equip the dog with a GPS tracker. The intention was to leave the dog in Cray Johnson's neighborhood to entice him out. Cray would hopefully take the dog back to the dog fights, enabling the police to track the GPS signal and catch them in the act. Observing that Cray was involved in a substance deal, the police proceeded to arrest him. Although this would be sufficient to incriminate Cray, the police remained determined to dismantle his entire unlawful organization, preventing further harm to the city's dogs. Cray Johnson was confined to an interrogation room, where the police began questioning him about the dogfighting events. Cray divulged everything the police needed to bring an end to this nightmarish ordeal. James's dog received special attention due to its crucial role in the police investigation. Several days passed, and James had not heard any updates from the police. His parents were informed that it was standard procedure and that the police would handle the situation from there. However, one day the doorbell rang, and James opened the door to find the police standing there. The police had come to inform James that they had apprehended the offenders responsible for everything that had transpired. They had a small surprise for him, it was the dog he had found in the river. The vet had successfully nursed the dog back to health, and now it belonged to James.